Mono Green is an archetype that fell off in the format a good bit for a variety of reasons. Part of it was Faceless Haven and Chariot got adjusted, but another part of it is the rest of the format just kind of developed to be a little bit higher power level. Jukai Liberator feels like a card that potentially increases the power level of this archetype. So whenever this deals combat damage to a player, you get to seek a land or non-land card. So curiosity style of effect that guarantees draws you the type of cards your current hand is looking for. And it ninjutsu's for just two. So we've got eight one mana creatures where we can start with any of these on one, attack with them on two, and then ninjutsu this in. It seems very reasonable. Small snow sub theme for Blizzard Brawls and a couple of Faceless Havens here, and then just like, you know, good green stuff. So let's pop on into some matches with this and uh, see how it goes. Correct, Tuevos. Yeah, chat. Pack leader is a 2 1 for 1. We're playing it, so we have just early pressure to go wide with and to just shoot back. Back in my day, your 1 mana 2 1s didn't have any text on them unless it was a drawback. You didn't need more bonuses to play the 2 mana 2 1 chat. Crawler has a drawback. He can't block, Shav. Come on now. Kids these days. So called twin. Thank you for the prime support. I really appreciate it. Good afternoon. Everything changed when fire designed attacked mood. Well then, they used they used all the removal spells on our cards we didn't really care about, and now this turn's about to be pretty cracked, huh? Oh yeah. We were going to fire up the Faceless Haven, but now we get to do this. the card with trample chat <laughs> okay Twenty seven creatures basically with Rangers class.
Poor Feather. He used to be the coolest kid around with a one mana red spell that dealt four damage. And now there's a one mana red spell that deals six damage for way less work. Why do you have to bully me? <laughs> you know, let's actually Rangers class tap land here. And then I can double spell or spell plus activate next turn, I think. And they play like a 3-3 three, three blocker here. I think I'll animate the or up the Rangers class so I can attack in. Yeah, blue red spells could be okay. A blue red spell style deck could also potentially be a good choice for the the new Stampcaster Mage spoiler I had. Some potential there for sure. I don't have indestructible, but these can still fight fair and square. I assume they're going to trade with the pack leader since that's the one that draws cards. So I'll put the counter on my other one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Smells like meat hook. I'm going to play this out. Meat hook, interesting. This time around, I'm gonna put one counter on here because I don't want this to be able to trade with this. Hydra to draw a card. No. In the event that they have a removal spell, which is incredibly likely here, I want to be able to deploy a second threat to the board this turn. And keeping, keeping more pressures on board here is more important than generating a little bit of card advantage in the short term. Yeah, yeah, we've got card advantage sitting in play too, incidentally. Just definitely accurate. Six. We've got two creature lands left.
Um, Bez, I'll say this. It's been funny witnessing, for me personally, it's been funny witnessing all of y'all engage with a lot of the people that I just block and move on from these days because your stories about how they choose to interact with you is just so incredibly validating for my personal decision to just block them to begin with. You learn, you learn a lot about something from how they, a, a lot about someone, about how they react to stuff like that. Like, occasionally, if someone says something, when we're in, when we're in non, when we're in open Twitch chat, and someone posts a comment that it's like, my gut instinct is to like, ban them versus timing them out, I'll just tap the ban button, and seeing how they react to being banned tells you a lot about them. Cause it's, it's very typical that you'll, people that post a real borderline comment will then have a complete and total meltdown in the unbanned request, just being like, yeah, this definitely isn't someone we want in the community. On, a, on occasion, they'll just have a very nice message back and then we unban them and we move on with our days because they were an adult. With a good amount of consistency, that is not the result. Yeah, Bez. Imagine, and, and honestly, the thing you should tell them, Bez, is imagine they had 16,000 people that they didn't want in their mentions constantly messaging them and that they shouldn't interact with them anymore, right? Like, you think you've been banned from my chat before? Uh, that, no, your account just says two timeouts, zero bans. The only thing I use the mod screen for are the unbanned requests where temper tantrums are being thrown. God bless. here for us. Strike is so good, chip. I'm playing straight through, Messiah. And assuming assuming this deck is good, we'll probably we'll probably just chill on it for the next hour, hour forty-five or so.
second blood token to kill my my large lad. Makes sense. That was an excellent draw. Someone with not my name by uh, broccoli or uh, beef. I don't know how to say the first word of your. If so, if anyone other than me had pointed out the fact that Strauski's post was crapping on everybody playing on the arena ladder, it probably would have been widely accepted as yeah, that's what he was doing, and it was bad. But it was it, the explicit problem was that I wasn't allowed to say that in a lot of people's minds because they don't like me personally. I'm just taking two again here. Giant green things. Dum -da dum 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 dum. Ah, uh, not at all, is it tough? The, the original beef with peep, some people that worked at Wizards goes way back to the before days when I was streaming a lot of Magic Online and I took, took a hiatus and took a bunch of their customers with me to other card games. That's where, where that comes from initially. I guess it's probably another pack leader out matchup, huh? Because of Rahilda. We're bringing a couple of Tangle Traps for their 4-4 four, four dragons. A couple of Snakeskin Veils for spot removal spells. Call it a day. Thanks for the 27 months, by the way, Bez, if you're still here. We were talking about your comment in there, and I don't think I said thank you for that. I'm on the draw with Pup Liberator chat. We're gonna draw the second land, I have, I believe. Does everybody have their minus 500s ready for the economy stream? <laughs> if they block, I get to snake skin. If they don't block, I get to Liberator. gains battlefield tapped got it all right really want to draw a snow land here This is Kami of Morning. Does that imply the existence of a Kami of Evening as well?
can't chat. Our, uh... Our what's it called really aren't free, our utility lands. The Haley emote desperately needs to be updated. Yeah, for sure. Kinda, so like, this one's gonna come back, right? It perpetually has this bonus. I mentioned in the review, there's a good chance this card's playable. Depends on how much exile removal you run into for sure, but. Strong, it's a strong effect in these creature based matchups. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have, uh, I shouldn't have attacked with the pup because they're getting the Rehilda back. with layers of the line here. I'll shoot it with Blood Tithe. Blood Tithe is Sorcery Speed Feed. <laughs> Anchor Dead Fam. Ground out here a little bit. Game three on the plate, please. I'm happy with how he boarded. Kiki does make exact copies of mana value. That is accurate. Big, big true. Uh, there was an upcoming open world Hogwarts game, Wannabe Beetle, set in the Harry Potter universe. This could be coming out later this year. We're supposed to be getting the first in-game footage of it this afternoon. Set in the 1800s. That's interesting for a timeline. We, we have, in fact, built our own questing beast. All right, 
right, with the snake skin veil, this game's probably over, right? Scale of one to dead, what are we working with here, opponent? Dead side of the scale, got it. Climbing on up the ladder. Beat it do you do 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 you do you beat it do you do 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 you do you Uh, you asked about ninjas being salty wargy. I just don't think there's a competitive ninja deck in the format. Our, our cards just aren't good enough. Maybe, maybe once they power down historic, some of the ninjas we have from the modern master sets could be competitive there. But as is, historic's power level is just too high to brew with stuff there, unfortunately. Thanks for the follow, Winter. Good afternoon. With this hand, we're supposed to play tap plan into pack leader on two. I think could go either way. Should have, should have played the pup on one chat and just believed. Dookie on our screen here, chat. Apologize, we'll have to wipe that up. A uh, burn spell here, I assume. Basically trading pack leader for like a deal too. Instead, we didn't do that. Stop it. Bad opponent. Don't follow news on MTG artists being shitty people. Seb McKinnon decided to let us all know on Twitter that masks are tyranny. So, he's a real, real one of those. Oh, 
probably need to put a counter here, right? Because if they double block, it still dies. Gotcha! Thanks for the two months. Much love from New Zealand. Hope you're you're doing all right. Wait, did I get where did my where did my thing go? Where did I get what did I get exiled by? Ow. Oh. There's so much text on this card, chat. Why is there so much text on this card? It, it did a bunch of other stuff. I didn't think it could possibly be doing that too. Greet our enemies. Ninja! It's actually a lethal ninja, right? I'm not sure if that was the right line shit. Because it killed them, so we weren't able to draw any cards. I'll have to, I'll have to stew on that for a little bit. Definitely need Tangled Traps. And broken wings to deal with Lisa. I mostly just keep boarding out these pack leaders, so I think we keep doing that. Five creatures might be a little on the low side. So the follow have and Hobbit. Good afternoon. It's been a while since we've done magic this late in the afternoons. I'd been sandwiching magic in the middle of two pieces of variety content. Maybe we'll try doing magic at the very end of the stream next week. I haven't done that. Try to try a few different schedule rotations out. Maybe we'll do like Assassin's Creed, then Unite in the middle, and then magic at the end next week. See what that looks like for metrics. Still, still trying to figure out the balance of this whole streaming more than one game thing. Yep. We're gonna do Valhalla. I let on Tenacious Pup on one, so that way I could play second Pup as a 2-3 two, on two in case they had Rahilda. There's always a lot of variables you can't control, Justin. Not not everybody has anywhere near the same Spring Break metrics. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna start Assassin's Creed on Monday for sure. I'm actually gonna go ahead and have these brawl. That lets me attack for three here as well. Are you kidding me? I thought it only gained indestructible if I didn't have snow. What a tilter. That's fine. I'm gonna take game three on the play. How do you night metrics usually compare to magic? Uh, 60 to 80% for viewer count usually. Somewhere, somewhere in that range. Unite, Unite's a newer game though, and I gain more followers on average per hour playing Unite than I do playing Magic though, which is another important thing to look at. Because viewer, viewer counts largely work off of existing people, so there's more channel growth in that area.
I'm hoping based on the results of the poll I put on my my Twitter and my YouTube that Pokemon TCG stuff is gonna go well. Uh, good number of people that cast ballots in those that said they were interested in seeing that uh, that application. die in in the immediate future so that's nice hopefully we draw a land next turn so that way we get to draw a card with back leader that would allow this to be a 3-3 to attack with uh, there was actually a Harry Potter card game I played a good bit of as a child don't ask me, don't ask me what exactly it involves today, because I don't remember, but I remember we played a good bit of it as kids. It was not bad. I won't uh, try and talk about the quality of it, because I don't recall. I'm just going to jump block with this in game three. It's going to die as soon as they finish an adventure. dead here due to due to missing our land drops yeah missing missing snow mana too if this layer of the hydra had been another snow we'd be in a good spot honestly the layer of the hydras have been kind of awkward in general we've won a couple of games because of them but we've also lost a bunch i almost i almost want to cut like two of them and just have like four creature lands and some more snow for us that maybe this one's not completely over i could like sack this forest that we have a 4-4 trampler with two snakeskin veils but i'm like two snow lands away from blizzard brawl being turned on and they have a death toucher in play so we're still pretty far behind this besage you also hasn't been particularly exciting No, I don't really want to max out on Haven. Like, had this been a Haven, that hand would have been awkward for other reasons, right? I think I think I just want I think I just want 19 snow for us. Yeah, I, lo I logged a lot of hours on the Pokemon TCG Game Boy Color game. Played played the crap out of that one. Chip. Abzan, eh? 
Well, chat, it's official. We're the bad guy. Officially the bad man. We'll put the ranger class counters on the wolf here to split up the, uh, the threat density here. I think we want to start putting counters on Layer of the Hydra. Lumbering Falls, thanks for the 38 months. Afternoon. Amazon landfall looks like. We'll probably want to stay pretty aggressive in the post board games. Bunch of spot removal. Probably an okay veil matchup. We trim pups against more spot removal. Leave the pack leader in for a better individual individual threat. Probably want to lead the blizzard brawls in for cleaning out uh, their scut swarms when we can, like we did there. I think we should proactively bring in Enchantment Removal. Yeah, maybe. I guess Liberator. Liberator is a pretty good card, even if they don't have an artifact or enchantment rate. This is a pretty low cost to bring in, because it's, like, fine. It's 100% a Vanishing Roost turn, right? So I'm not going to Liberator because I'm expecting Vanishing Verse. I'm gonna double, double pack leader instead. It. 
brain is huge, shit. Actually, just grab the end here. them a five mana permanent out of their deck all right i think we just zoom in shit zoom 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 yeah zoom 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 the a non-land angle this turn yeah getting getting to reuse tenacious pup feels good for sure Out here, zoom in. They go like, what's their best possible here? It's like land, ren, plus another one mana spell. I guess they could have a sweeper. They could have like white source farewell cleans the board out. I think is not particularly scary. We're definitely the bad man. This I would like the record to reflect the motto green deck is not popular in this format. I had to dig. I had to dig deep to find uh, find a deck list for this. I think I just grabbed the land so I can hold up Veil here. So long, farewell, I didn't like my board. And that shit is why we're playing Snakeskin Veil vale instead of the Tamiyo card. That, that right there. Plus one, plus one, plus one is correct. Pit Panther, thank you for the almost two years. Welcome back. Wild shape also legal. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe in wasting people's time, Zelzy. Spending, spending a lot of time re, recreating a wheel that already rolls is such a waste. Beardsy, thanks for the entire year. Welcome back. Appreciate it.
Our opponent's doing something spicy here. Some kind of reanimator shell? There's a few five mana reanimates in this format, right? I've seen you play blue. I'll have you know that we got one game in with blue-white control. My opponent played a hall breaker and I conceded the match and changed decks yesterday. Thank you very much. Don't you slander me. Yeah, we tried, we tried like three standard decks yesterday. The first two were disasters. The thir third one was playable. just supposed to level up the ranger class there so that way if they sweep the board i'm better off if they meat hook me next turn i'm gonna be big sad yeah leveling this putting a counter on here would have kept out of meat hook range as well putting another mammoth into play is better in case they're gonna flip one of these into play next turn though what's going on karn But the Blizzard Brawl were actually not that bad in Nakoma here, but unfortunately it is the meat hook. Played around one thing and not the other's chat. Ah! Oh, the beats. Oh, I could have leveled this to two second main. Yeah, good call. That's fine. It ended up not mattering, but that's a good shout. Like have a second copy of this. So we do this for four. Snakeskin Veil gets countered. Blizzard Brawl kills it. We crack them for seven. Uh, 
El Jefe, thank you for the 17 months. I appreciate you dropping the Prime off again. Welcome back. By the way, folks, I haven't been plugging it enough today. If you're interested in playing or watching some Alchemy Tournament magic this weekend, Saturday all day, myself, Amy the Amazonian, and Jim Davis will be broadcasting the next Hoglandia Open here on this channel. Still time to sign up and play in that is a set championship qualifier for New Capenna. To check that out at the link there. This also loses them two life with it whenever when it dies too, so which is kind of good for us. Just go wide here, huh? See if they got me hook, line, and sinker. Oh, they have, they have another blocker, right? Well, I guess I have, they have four blockers. I have five attackers, but my attackers aren't all lethal, right? I think I, think I gotta just try and pop off from the top of our deck here. Pippity pop, the fun don't stop, chat. Your move, Yugi boy. This is lethal with both creature lands. It's not. They have a creature land of their own hiding up here. I mean, Coma is a tough nut to crack. The top of our deck was just broken. We did. We did have a good pocket of lands before this. To be fair. Accurate.
Thank that gets us. Oh, this build is sweet. Blue, black, splash, green reanimator. We want some snakeskin veils. Some amber brick caretakers. I think I actually want Blizzard Brawl out. The removal isn't that useful here. Like, obviously, it was okay against Jin in that one spot, but I got average. That's not going to be the case. Sorry, chat. Did I say their deck was sweet? I'm pretty sure the thing I'm supposed to do to get a lot of likes is go on Twitter and complain that the Magic Arena ladder isn't competitive and all people do is play trash decks on it, right? Is that is that the hip thing to do? Have I have I successfully successfully done what the Magic community finds acceptable? I, I apologize for previously calling their deck sweet. Now I'm getting it? Okay, good. Just want to make sure we line up. Daniel, thanks for the three quarters of a year. Welcome back. already bought some bots to retweet it. down in years to do zoomers go by the way chat help an, help an old man out when do they stop being zoomers and start being whatever we're calling the kids after zoomers Generation Alpha is considered 2010-ish. Okay. I didn't realize, I didn't realize some of them were that old at that point. Gen Alpha is a demographic cohort succeeding Gen Z. Medias use early 2010s as the starting birth years and the mid 2020s ending birth years. I, I feel like realistically, they probably need to put kids that are post COVID into a new group. Like I feel, I feel like there'll probably be a bit of a difference in the perspective like Jake and Declan have having memories from before COVID. Versus, versus ones that never will.
got an Iron Veil. Seems like they gave us a number of sweet new ones that slot into existing things well. Mono Green with Jukite Liberator has felt pretty reasonable so far this afternoon. This was an archetype that had largely fallen off in the format. Let's see if we can get in here. So next turn is the they can meet hook my Ovenwald oddity turn. So I think I'm just playing a tapped land and passing here because I don't want to play this out and get both of these meat hooked. They haven't hit any creatures for their bit yet. It's pretty unfortunate for them. this we've got the open wall oddity <laughs> all right chat t minus one hour until we learn about the future of magic arena I think they need to knock this out of the park, Chip. There's a lot of, a lot of pressure on this afternoon. Future pokes, future poker star Miles. What's going on, Miles? Long time watcher, first time caller. Well, welcome. Thanks for the support. Your, uh, hope your Thursday's going all right. Now, I said this earlier, but it bears repeating. I just want to remind you that if the information that we are given today regarding the future of the Magic Arena economy is not what you want to hear, the person delivering that message is not responsible for its contents. Things... Things related to economy changes, they aren't even just one person making that decision. Those go those go all the way up the flagpole. So I will I will definitely remind and encourage you that as a consumer, where you spend your wallet and your time is your best course of action. So if you are unhappy with the results, you know, taking some time off of magic or magic arena is an appropriate response. However, being nasty to the person delivering the information to us is not an appropriate response. Tend your corporation and vote using your money. God bless. Ah. And 
Hey chat, ninjutsu's an activated ability, so that means I get to cast a spell here still. <laughs> yeah, definitely press a pick. Okay, so we're definitely brawling, huh? It's a good draw. Oh yeah, if you want to be mad at me after watching my personal reaction to it, that's fine. Chad, I, I'm used to people being mad at me. It's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be streaming this deck until until the co-stream is ready, and then we'll uh, we'll watch it all here together on the channel chat. I'm attacking with the pup because I believe they're trading off with my other things here. I'm giving the old growth troll the tenacious pup counter because this way it can't be meat hook massacred next turn. I realize, Jeff, now that you're a corporation, does that mean if we sub you with Amazon Prime, we're corporate shills? It does, in fact. So keep that, keep that in mind. Like, Hoglandia LLC legally exists, Jeff. We have limited amounts of liability. Skin bail seems good. Caretaker seems fine. Gonna trim the pups. Cody, thanks for being a corporate shell. I appreciate the five months. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. <laughs> 16 months, in fact, AK. Welcome back. Next have curves, chat. One, two, three. It's just curve a mentry. What could it be? We didn't even just get bug fixes, Avocado. We got like quality of life improvements too. It was really great to see overall. Oglandia LLC proves that corporations are people, my friend. Something like that. Uh, not land for sure here. Engineer Jam, thanks for the half a year. Welcome back. Wanna we wanna KO this Death Touch is gonna trade with something on my side of the board at some point otherwise. Mopey blue red aggro deck is exactly what that card really wants to go into. Does that mean Jeff Hoagland is really Jeff Bezos? No, I'm still married and I uh, don't have a giant pile of money. See her with the minus four.
still have a soul? I mean... I'm, I'm pretty sure Bezos gets to keep his soul until he dies. It's, it's usually how those things work out. We know about all the money buried under the court field. <laughs> Chill on the lands for now. Ugh. So good shit. Gotta gotta drop Blizzard Brawl here. I should probably just start assuming these black white mid range decks have Lisa and board appropriately. We don't want all. This two more is probably fine. They want broken wings rather than tingle trap. They can make her bigger than four or five on occasion. I mean, it also just has an incredible impact on any board where it hangs out, right? It's one of those, you answer this card or you lose the game. And because it's an evasive threat, you lose the game in pretty short order, too. I'd be a little greedy with my keep here and keep double pack leader with the open wall and oddity and no third land. Like, draw snow lands for the next two turns. Faceless Haven Forest would be ideal. Alright, and as far as non lands go, a good castable spell is up there. And we didn't have stakes conveil there to punish them. Or they were thinking about it too. Opponent's dojo does not contain fear. Right on, right on time. Welcome to the party. Frustrating game. Just had a third land, we'd be in such a good spot. I guess it, I guess it needs to be specifically a snow land too, but still. And now, now I'll draw the land now that it's no longer useful, of course. Probably flood out from here. Maybe their deck full of removal doesn't have another removal spell. And we'll get to Blizzard Brawl and attack. Maybe we'll draw a fourth land this turn and there'll be a bunch of creatures on top of our deck.
Okay, Boots Bowl for a hero. Platter goes gaming. Thank you for the 13 months. Welcome back. Blow me out, Diddy. Oh my gosh, that worked! Uh ho. My judgment is final. <sighs> Exile removal. Exile removal. That was our match for Mythic 2, chat. They've kept us out. No Mythic gamers here. No mythic gaming to be had. I mean, we were we beat that matchup once or twice today already, press a pick. If I had aborted correctly for their, their lease in the second game or like had a third land on time that game, we were fine. We had a, had a huge window to tempo them out of that game and just didn't get it. Sometimes magic be like that. Great, thanks for the seven months. Welcome back. I'm just chilling. Obviously, don't want to use Brawl on an Epic Churn. This board is lovely. Nah, the boards are still random. We haven't gotten a big new feature like that in a long time on Two Summit. It's probably like Mammoth as a land plus play Liberator out. Being able to buy boards is the economy announcement. been hooked. Yes, Wargy.
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Presapic. Can they can they ever keep up with the final chapter on this? Probably not, right? Uh, it was, the deck as a whole was surprisingly playable. The demon definitely shouldn't have been a four of. Dang it, Bobby. I think I actually want to kill Blood Artist here. Seven to flip over to activate his belly screen next turn. Rats. Rats. Down to six is a little scary against their meat hook deck. This is gross. And they get to uh, sack this to turn it back into a three. Wait, what? Ah, uh, friendo. Am I dead next turn? <sighs> Yeah, it's possible I was supposed to trade the wolf. Oh my god, I think we're dead. Holy shit. Yeah, we're just, we're dead to the meat hook, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're super right. Press pick, I should have, I should have kept my life total higher. Oh, that sucks. All right, we got a bunch of ways to break artifacts here. Our pack leader and our pup are very mediocre here. I think this is probably bad too. I think we board bigger. Bring in the caretakers, kind of pull up here. Maybe we leave in a snakeskin veil. I think I like that. Well, I don't even know that we're necessarily better being the bigger deck so much as just like our little creatures get stonewalled by all their 1-1s, one -one, so doesn't seem like a particularly good plan. <laughs> Welcome back, Signal Collectibles.
The toy makes me angry and I'm breaking it. That's a trap! That's a trap! Seems fine. Coleslaw is like a salad, right? Salad with chopsticks seems reasonable. I just want to get the other ranger class going here. I guess playing this out is worse against Voltage Surge. Yeah. Let's turn their blood into a 3-1. I don't have a way to kill this troll. Are they gonna, oh god, are they gonna kill me? <laughs> Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Supposed to not take that trade this time around because of Everbrook Caretaker plus Ranger Class on Old Growth Trill here. The the Anvil deck's really good, Precipic. It's good in Standard and Historic, or Standard and Alchemy. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. If I would have not blocked there, they would be down three life right now, which would have forced blocks on this. They play a land? No. It really says something about their deck that I'm at eight and I'm feeling like, can I die here? Is this it? Have we been ended? Eight, eight does not feel like anywhere near enough life. Big, big scared for sure. They draw a removal? Oh man, if they have a removal spell for troll, I think we're totally dead. Oh no. Are they drawing? Okay. All right. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Please concede. No. Oh God.
going to three. <laughs> oh, we're going to two? I think we're actually dead, right? Because the dead of the bugbear plus the oni anvil and the meat hook are just lethal. Good God. That was brutal. <laughs> Blood artist is a messed up magic card chip. very good. I definitely wouldn't call our deck very good. It felt fine. Definitely not busted. I think we had some good showcases in that set of like some powerful things this deck was doing, but also like good showcases of like where it falls off in some spots and why it's not one of the popular things in the format. This card was okay. Part of the problem with this is I felt like my one drops were pretty mediocre in a lot of the matchups that we were playing, um, which meant that like this card was awkward if I wanted to board some of these out, which didn't feel great. Obviously connecting with this was really good, but that was not always something you were gonna be able to guarantee to do early.